Alright, hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I had um, on my Instagram asked you guys like questions. I've been getting a lot of questions on like my personal life and like what's going on with me and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm going to answer those. But if you are new, please subscribe and like this video and comment down below what you guys want to see. Because I honestly don't know what to post and I'm like... It's 2021 next month and I don't even think I'm going to be able to get my hours in because I have not been posting. <sighs> Whatever. So I'm just going to try to do it every day as I can. Um, it's hard when you just like stay at home and you don't really do much. So <laughs> uh, to try to like get motivation to like get up and record and do all that stuff. So yeah, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to wing it and see where it takes me. But yeah, I'm going to ask you guys these questions right now okay so i know i've been getting a lot of personal questions only because like obviously i put my life out there and people really want to like get to know me and all that stuff so yeah i understand um i follow a couple of people on youtube and instagram and i love seeing their life and knowing their background and all that so i'm gonna let you guys know about my personal life all right so one question i'm gonna look over there because i wrote it down um, how many siblings do I have? So I have one sister and uh, four brothers. Um, two of my brothers are like in and out of jail. My youngest ones. Well, I'm the youngest. And then I have two other brothers that are older than me. That are both in and out of jail a lot um, on drugs and all that stuff. Then I have two older brothers, which are just living their life with their family and all that. And then I have a sister and I don't talk to any of them besides my brother that's locked up. But yeah, I have a sister that's older. I have a sister that's older and um, that squirrel is back. I have a sister that's older, but we don't really talk. Um, so yeah, five siblings and I am the youngest. Um, where did I grow up? So, or grew up, I grew up in New Mexico. Um, so yeah, I grew up in New Mexico with my mom and my stepdad. Um, when I was about 15, I want to say, no, 14, 15, um, they both got like on drugs really bad. And then they're like, um, we we're jumping house to house. And my brother, my oldest brother, came to pick us up and it didn't work out there. So after that, I was in foster care and then got pregnant at. 19 and i was living with my baby's father um i was like in and out of foster care um at the age of 15 i believe i was with my sister i call her my sister my stepsister or adopted sister um they didn't adopt me but i was staying there it was a friend that their mom like took me in um so we went to vegas i got pregnant at the time then i moved in with my daughter's father um so yeah i was with him for i think four or five years um on and off but yeah i lived with him i did have help i remember a question was um did you have help with your oldest i did have help with my oldest um his his mom was very involved and the grandma was very involved me and him were kind of just on and off but his family is really involved and they love her um so yeah i do have help um with her and I'm currently with my baby's father now, which I have two kids with, and he and his family yeah, are so big. Help. My baby's father now, his family are super helpful. They all help with my daughter. They love her. They treat her like their own, um, so she doesn't feel like weird or anything. It's really like awesome. But yeah, I did have another question. Is um, since we're talking about that, I said, what do you think of a person that doesn't like the mom doesn't that leaves it, the mom doesn't like you or the kids well i would say leave him <laughs> just because um especially when it comes to the kids like fuck if they don't like you who cares as long as they love and um accept the kids even if they're not theirs um my mother-in-law loves the hell out of my oldest daughter so i mean i've never had a problem with that um so as far as that i mean if you can't get through it that that then obviously he's not the one and i think you should just run <laughs> run yeah, also, I feel like he should be sticking up for you constantly and being like, if he's going to be a stepfather, he should be like, um, or if he's the kid's father, I don't know. Um, but he should be there 100% and be like, yo, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know, have your back. But yeah, um, that's that. 
um, who taught me how to cook. I taught myself. My mother, I remember when I was growing up, she was an amazing cook. So my mom does know how to cook. I mean, I remember her cooking a lot, but um, she just never taught me. I mean, I was young too. I was 14, so I didn't even want to cook then. So yeah, but she did know how to cook. Um, I remember my first time ever cooking. I cooked um, macaroni and I burnt the fucking macaroni. And I remember I was so embarrassed. <laughs> I never cooked after that. And then when I had my son, I started cooking because me and my um, my daughter my son's dad right now got a house so like i had no choice but to teach myself how to cook so i learned how to cook on my own and pinterest girl pinterest is amazing um do i have any regrets in life i have so many regrets i mean um none that has to do with my kids or anything but um i have a lot of regrets i mean you grow old and um you're not as crazy i mean i have regrets that i did two weeks ago you know like I don't know like I don't really drool on it or um is how it is I don't really like think about it too much because if you think about it it just stresses me out more so like I mean I live and I learn so that's basically it so yeah I do have regrets but that's it craziest thing I ever did was get locked up uh me and my baby's father now went to jail for a bar fight crazy story but yeah that's the craziest thing I've ever done um how do i stay consistent and let me see how do i stay consistent on my weight loss basically i do a lot like i mainly eat healthy a lot lot i try to drink a gallon of water a day i used to be really be on it but now it's like i have to like start forcing myself to like remember to drink water so yeah it's getting pretty difficult but um i am i drink like half a gallon right now which i used to drink a gallon so i'm gonna try to get back on that but um yeah i just basically like my motivation is my kids i get up and i just force myself to work out even when i don't want to right now since i am losing weight really fast um i am trying to drink more protein because i don't want to lose my butt and i do want to gain muscle so i am doing that and mainly like my motivation when i don't have motivation is i take my pre-workout put some music on put my headphones on and kind of just zone out and get it done but yeah Bad questions about my mother um she has like we were talking for about i want to say from my age after i had a kid uh from like when i moved out from 15 to 22 i did not talk to her at all because she was on drugs really really bad um now she's kind of just lost um i seen her she came to my birth uh, my baby shower when i with my son um it was most hectic baby shower i've ever had with her um she stayed the night at our house or at a friend's house and um just started acting crazy i mean she hallucinates now so um she talks to herself we try to help her i want to say two years ago me and my um, baby's father now we try to move her in and i we um what did we do oh she we paid for a ticket to come out here or my aunt paid for a ticket to come out here to live with us. So she was staying with us. It only lasted about a week because they did not tell me she was like hallucinating, talking to herself. I remember the first night she was just like in the bathroom, like talking to herself. And I was like freaked out. I was like, what the heck? Um, and so it didn't work out. So I ended up kicking her out just because um, the thing she was saying was crazy. Um, so yeah, I ended up kicking her out. Um, then she moved back in. Then she acted crazy again. Then she ended up getting, so she ended up getting locked up for some crazy stuff. And then they ended up transferring her back to New Mexico because she had a warrant. So then I haven't talked to her ever since then. I know she's been in and out of the hospital, drug overdose, all this crazy shit. So, um, yeah, she just hasn't learned. And I, I don't know, I haven't talked to her in about a year. So, yeah, so that's that. That has to do with my mother. Um, my stepfather, I mean, I was raised with him like close to like 10 years um when i was little i haven't seen him or talked to him since i was 15. so yeah that's that um i did post everybody was saying like you don't know your dad i never met my dad don't even know who what his name is um so yeah but that has to do with that and um yeah i don't know what else to say so i might just finish this off with like a day vlog vlog
all right so it's pretty much the end of the day um i didn't do the day vlog um if you guys do want to see my day to day life um comment down below but basically the questions that i've answered your guys is there are a couple but th my answers were very long so don't mind her all crazy here so yeah so if you guys did enjoy this video please comment down below and give me ideas for the next video but this is going to be my end of the video. So I'll talk to you guys later. Make sure to like and subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Bye.